All right, so the last color that we're going to use is the hot metal red. Now, like the blue, which I did um, on this one, let's see how the hot metal red comes out. Again, we'll use our control. Actually, I should have, I'm sorry. Uh, this one is shake thoroughly before use. Do not mist. Uh, do not thin. Mist light coats over alkyd metal finishes. Of course, it doesn't tell you what is the uh, preferred PSI, so I'm going to keep it at 25 as I had it before. So I'm just going to do just a light pass like that. Now, obviously, this is not meant for this, but it's a, it'll be an interesting result to see how it looks like on the standard um, non-primed um, or non-metal finished backing. All right, we'll let that dry. I'll probably give it another pass later on. All right, so we're going to use the white. Aluminum. Okay. Next up, it's the semi-matted color. Again, it's not supposed to be completely uh, the color it's supposed to be because it's supposed to have that hot metal finish. Well, again, I know you guys are probably saying, can we get a close-up look? We will all look at all these colors after they're all dry. Uh, next up is going to be the bright uh, silver base color. This one shows a little bit more promise. Yeah, this one looks a lot better. Very nice. Very nice. And then the last one, of course, is the chrome. so we can complete this. Hmm, interesting. It looks nice, but I guess the chrome showing off a dark tone in the background. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is reflective, yes. I'm not I'm not denying that. But it depends on also the base of the color. Or the chrome below that. Alright. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna let it dry. 
And then finally, we'll uh, review each and every one of these colors and see how they look. Well, here is my chipset, you could say, of the Yellowclad 2 paints that I just finished. We're going to, go, we're going to begin with the, the um, basic one. As you can see, here is the uh, excuse me, the um, indigo blue, transparent blue, ruby red, transparent red, and hot metal red. Obviously, there's no metallic finish in the background. Or I could have easily painted it black in the background. But this is what it looks like without any of the backings. Which I, This is okay. I kind of like this. I'm, I'm not fond of this transparent blue because it's a little bit more turquoise. The ruby red is a little dark. Maybe I oversaturated. I don't know. I'm, I should have passed. Give it like a light pass. The transparent red came out really nice. I like it. It's a very, very good shade. So I wonder how it would look like with the, maybe a white base or a gray base. So that will be interesting to see. Uh, hot metal obviously is not designed for white, so don't think it's a good idea. But it is kind of like an, an interesting color tone. So we have that. Now, before we move on any further, I understand that many of you guys are telling me that white aluminum and ma uh, matted aluminum, um, semi matted aluminum, is not meant to be a base color. It can be if you want, but it's also be used to to be used for like you know to be intertwined with uh, as a, as a its own color itself so going to these two guys so we have semi matted aluminum and white aluminum and on its own it has a weird look to it um, this has a more of a rougher look to it while this one has a softer tone so if you're going to use you know use this for like piping or painting specific type of metals or anything like that here's a good reference point I mean I kinda like how this looks and this one can be used as well you could say that this is almost like a two-tone almost like a two-tone but going to the colors the indigo blue didn't come out the way I'm I was hoping and bear in mind, there's all these particles that picked up along the way, so, yeah. Neither, do, uh, so the indigo blue is somewhat so-so for me. The transparent blue turns this thing to green, as you could see, which is not my... Ruby red is a little dark, almost like, yeah, ruby. Transparent red... I like how the transparent red came out on this one than on this. And the um, hot metal red didn't look so well on these two. So obviously it's not something I would like to use for, for future kits. Then we go with the uh, silver base, which is basically a base color. And it is identical to to the white aluminum. No, excuse me. For, to, yeah, the white aluminum. But it's a lot more shinier. It picked up. It picked up the reflectiveness from the um, from the um, um, gloss black, along with you know little particles. Indigo blue doesn't looks okay, but there's this weird like gap separation of some sort. So I don't know about that. Turquoise again doesn't look okay. I mean turquoise. Excuse me. Transparent blue, which turns it into turquoise. Doesn't, I'm not feeling it. Maybe I, I've done something wrong, to tell you the truth. I've done a lot of things wrong. Ruby Red does, did come out pretty good. It has a nice reflective shine to it. So I am kind of pleased with that. The Transparent Red, kind of like a dull color. And I really like how it came out. So this looks pretty good. I, I, could, I do like how it came out on this tone. Hot Metal, eh, not so much. Not so much. That leaves us with the last kit, the last paint, and that's the chrome. The chrome came out, of course, nice. Of course, there's this weird, weird thing that happens where you see a little blackness come out. And I don't know if it's because of the rubbing or anything like that. Obviously, when you chrome this, you want to protect the chrome. So the minute you finish painting it and it looks good, 
protect it, and that's I did protect the black. I did not protect the chrome. That was my fault. I tend to do that a lot. But going to here to the, to the indigo blue, the indigo blue came out really nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. You could still see my camcorder. Uh, again, not so hot with the um, the hot metal, hot metal blue. Doesn't look good. I would like to see a good demonstration of the hot blue, uh, the hot metal blue. The indigo blue. I'm sorry, the indigo, um, sorry, ruby red does look good, nice in reflectiveness right there. Um, again, same issue with this one where there's like there's little weird gaps there. The transparent red came out nice. I love this tone, really do. Not as reflective, but still pretty good. And even though there's that little darkness uh, I just mentioned in the um, chrome, the hot metal came out really nice. Very nice. So what does this lead what what did we do here? Well we pretty much demonstrated that you know sometimes when you paint a kit, sometimes if you paint uh, take a, a normal paint color and you look at it and you say to yourself, huh, that looks amazing, that's kind of cool. Well, guess what? This is how it would really look like if you paint it. Now, obviously, I had issues, but the overall effect came out good. The best, of course, demonstrations that I've seen people do is with spoons. I decided to do this way because it's a lot easier to... Because having it on a curved surface is one thing. Having it on a flat surface is another. And with a lot of kits, there's a lot of flat surfaces, not a lot of curved surfaces. Gundam is, is a perfect example. There's a few kits here and there that does have curved... Uh, well, Zaku's, you could say, but regular, you know, Gundam kits that are more uh, square and, and, and flat, you definitely want to try it on these, uh, you know, try this on these kits. But, again, Elaclad is a, is a unique paint that we, you know, we I like to use. I know a lot of people like to use them, but I just needed to, like, reassure myself, am I doing it right? Did I make a mistake? This is another. Uh, also, I did this to to practice myself again because sometimes I see I, I feel like I'm not doing it right, and again there's particles in the air which I need to put put a filter on here, like a, a regular air a HEPA, a HEPA elf air air filter so I can pick up all the dust particles before I begin painting. That way, nothing falls on the part while I'm painting. But that's pretty much what it is. So. I, what do you guys think of this uh, little demonstration? Uh, obviously, you guys are probably going to show me something better. I would not mind seeing something better. Please, um, share me your thoughts. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching uh, Tool Time with Strider Prime. And I'll see you guys at the next video.